In today's mini lesson, we're going to be talking about the area of special quadrilaterals, quadrilaterals, I'm sorry, <laughs> including parallelograms and trapezoids. The first thing is the area of a parallelogram. Parallelogram means that both sides are parallel, not necessarily 90 degree angles, and the area is the base times the height, the base being the length from here to here, and the height the length from here to here. And as you'll see later on, you can use any of the four sides as the base. The reason why this works is like this. If we have a quadrilateral um, parallelogram here, and we take the base times the height, essentially what we're doing is we take this triangle here, we remove it, and we set it on that end, right, like this. And now we have something that looks like a rectangle. This rectangle if we took the base times the height, we would be taking length times width. So you see that it's essentially the same thing. All right. Let's go ahead and do some practice questions with this. If we're asked to find the area of this parallelogram, we'll set up our area equation of base times height, substitute in our value from our base of 20 and our height of 7 centimeters. 20 centimeters times 7 centimeters gives us 140 centimeters squared, and that is our area for this parallelogram. All right, one more <laughs> on this one. I turned around and made this the base. Oh. So if this is our base and this as our height, all right, because it goes 90 degrees off of that. When we use our area equation, the area is equal to the base times the height. Essentially what we'll do is we'll take the base of 5 centimeters and the height of 6 centimeters and substitute that into our equation. So like I said, this is the base is along the side. So we have 5 centimeters times 6 centimeters. And 5 times 6 is 30 centimeters squared, and that's going to be the area for this parallelogram. The next area that we were looking at is the area of the trapezoid. This equation looks a lot more complicated, but I'm going to try and explain a little bit about what we do for that one. Here's what we do. We take our original trapezoid, which is this shape right here, and we flip it upside down, right there, and then we put two of them together. That's why we need half of the area, because we're going to find half of this full area. And if you look at this entire shape here, you'll notice that it is a parallelogram. So we do, for the parallelogram, we do the base times the height. The base is these two numbers added together, base one and base two added together times the height, and we'll take half of that because we're only looking for one of these shapes, not both of them. So that's going to give us the area of this trapezoid. Let's look at a couple questions using this equation. So our question here for the area of this trapezoid, we will take our equation, half of base one plus base two times the height. So base 1 is 15, we're going to substitute that in there. Base 2 is 17, we'll substitute that in here. And the height is equal to 3 kilometers. 1 half times 15 plus 17 times 3. 15 and 17, they're inside the parentheses, so that's what we do first. We add them together and we get 32. And 1 half of 32 is 16 times 3, which will give us 48 kilometers squared. So that is the area of this trapezoid. Let's look at another trapezoid here. We have 2 inches for our height, 6 inches for the base 1, and 8 inches for our base 2. You notice that on this one we have di really different angles here, but we're going to use the same exact equation because if we were to flip this one over, and put it right next to itself, it would still make that parallelogram that we were looking at before. So let's go ahead and substitute the information that we have right into the equation. 6 inches plus 8 inches times 2 inches 
and we'll take one half of that total amount. Six and eight will give us 14 inches. One half of 14 is seven. Seven times two is 14. So what we end up with is 14 inches squared. That's going to be the total amount of inches in this trapezoid. All right. So tune in next time when we find the area of a crazy shape Mr. Washington invents just to make algebra students' lives difficult. <laughs> and until then, have a wonderful time and see you later.